Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur from Veda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching series on Padartha Vijnana. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita and Siddhanta. In the last videos, we have discussed about the Vaisheshika Gunas. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access it. Moving with the next type of Guna that is Gurvadi Guna. Gurvadi Guna, the name depicts that it starts with the term Guru that is the Guna called as Guru. So it is considered as Gurvadi Guna and it is also called as Vimshadi Guna because 20 types of or 20 Gunas are explained in this uh, term. So it is also called as Vimshadi Guna. It is again called as Shaririga Guna because these all Gunas are pertaining to the Sharira or body and Samanya Guna as uh, these all qualities are present in the universe and Karmanya Guna as it has a special capability and strength because of this it is also called as Karmanya Guna. So this Gurvadi Guna set of Gunas are also uh, have different names such as Gurvadi Guna, Vimshadi Guna, Shaririga Guna, Samanya Guna and Karmanya Guna. The Gurvadi Gunas are Guru, Manda, Hima, Snigdha, Shlekshna, Sandra, Mradu, Stiraha, Gunaha, Sasukshma, Vishataha, Vimshatihi, Sa, Viparyayaha. So Guru, Manda, Hima, Snigdha, Shlekshna, Sandra, Mradu, Stira. And these are the 10 Gunas and the opposite of uh, Sukshma and Vishada, the 10 Gunas are mentioned. And opposite of these 10 are considered as the Gurvadi Gunas or Vimshadi Gunas. So the Gurvadi Gunas are Guru that is heavy, uh, Lekhu light in weight, Manda slow, Tikshna quick or fast acting, Hima or Shita that is cold, Ushna hot, then Snigdha that is anxiousness or oily or lubricating nature, Ruksha dry, Shlekshna smooth, Khara rough, Sandra solid, Drava liquid, Mridu soft, Kathina hard, Stira stable, Chala, moving or unstable, Sukshma, that is uh, small, Sthula, big, Vishata, non-slimy and Pichila, slimy. So these are the 20 Gunas, that is Gurvadi Gunas, which are opposite to each other, that is 10 Gunas and opposite uh, qualities are also mentioned. Next, moving in uh, detail of these Gunas, that first is Guru. Adya Patana Asamavai Karanam Gurutvam that heaviness is the cause for the fall that is if something has to fall it is because of the Guru Guna that property which makes a substance fall from resting uh, position is considered as Guru Guna and Dravyasya Brahmane Karmani Shaktihi Guruhu so the Guna which is responsible for stoutening the Sharira or uh, which helps in improving or increasing the bulk or mass is considered as Guru Guna and the Mahabhudas which are predominant in Guru Gunas are Prithvi and Jala Mahabhuda. For example, Masha or Black Gram is uh, having the Guru Guna. Then action on Dosha, it is Vata Hara that is reduces Vata Dosha and Shleshmakrit increases Kapha Dosha. And action on Dhadus, it is uh, giving Pushti that is already it is uh, Brimana Karma. So it uh, gives this Pushti that is it nourishes the body. It is Brimana, it bulk promoting. Sada, it uh, produces functional inability. It increases the weight or it increases the Gurutva of the Sharira. So, functional inability will be produced. Upalepa, it will be producing a cotting. Belakrit, it gives uh, strength as it is nourishing and it increases the uh, strength. Stambana, it helps in arresting the movements. Then other actions such as Chirapaki that is uh, slow in action. So thus it is very heavy to digest. That is the Guru Aharas are heavy for digestion. Next moving with the properties of Lakhu Guna. Dravyasya Lenkhane Karmani Shaktihi Lakhu. It is opposite of Guru Guna. So that which helps in reduction or produces the reduction uh, is considered as Lakhu. Or which causes weight loss that is uh, helps in reducing the weight is considered as Lakhu. And Mahabhudas predominant are Akasha, Vayu and Akni. And examples are Mudga and Laja. And it is Kaphakna that is uh, the Lakhu uh, Guna helps in reducing the Kapha Dosha. And it is Lekhana on Thados it will be producing Lekhana Karma that is reduces the bodies by scrapping or abrasion. So scraping property is there for Lakhu Guna 
and ropana that is helps in healing of the wounds so, so these are the properties of lakhu guna and other actions of lakhu gunas are it is pathya that is wholesome that is easy for digestion and uh, that is shikra pagi and it is very wholesome uh, for all the type of peoples next moving with the manda guna dravyasya shamane karmani shakti hi mandaha that is contributes to the dullness of a substance that is uh, considered as manda that is reduces the spreading or flow of substance that is the movement will be arrested or the flow will be arrested that is manda guna and prithvi and jala are the mahabhuta predominant and example kshira is having manda guna and uh, actions on dosha it is vata hara that is reduces the vata dosha and shleshma krit increases the kapha dosha and it is deha sthayitva that is reduces the body activities that is the function which is doing on the dhadus as it uh, arrest all the movements all the spreading of the uh, flow will be arrested this is deha sthayitva the movement of the sharira will be arrested next is tikshna opposite of manda is tikshna द्रव्यस्य शोधने कर्मणि शक्ति ही तीक्ष्ण सो इट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू द शार्पनेस ऑफ द सब्सटेंस और इट इंक्रीजेस द स्प्रेड और फ्लो ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस और इट एनहेंसेस द फ्लो और इट एनहेंसेस द स्प्रेडिंग नेचर इज कंसिडर्ड एज तीक्ष्ण गुण अग्नि इज द महाभूत विच इज प्रेजेंट प्रिडामिनेंटली एंड एग्जाम्पल्स मरीचा एंड चित्रका and it is kapha vata hara that is reduces both kapha and vata dosha and pitta vartaga it increases the pitta dosha as it is having predominance of agni mahabhuta and it is again lekhana karma is present for tikshna that is the scraping or abrasion nature is there for tikshna guna other actions which are carried out by tikshna gunas are daha that is causes burning sensation paga that is separation that is paga means the stages of a vrana is especially considered as paga when an wound or abscess is present it will be having a uh, three uh, stages that is amavastha then pachyamanavastha and pakvavastha will be there so this uh, transformation is carried out by this tikshna guna that is considered as paga that is separation and srava that is exudation that is the uh, something which is flowing out of a wound or uh, such things is considered as exudation so daha paga and srava will be produced by the dravyas which are having tikshna guna next is hima or shita guna dravyasya sthambane karmani shakti hi himah so the called nature of the substance is called as uh, hima or shita and sthambana karma is being carried out by shita guna that is it causes the arrest movement or causes stagnation is called as hima or shita guna that is the sthambana karma is being carried out by shita guna jala and vayu are the mahabhudas which are predominant in the dravyas which are having hima or shita guna for example kshira ghrida chandana etc the dosha uh, properties are or the action on doshas are pitta hara that is as it is uh, shita uh, virya or it is uh, having a shita coolant nature it reduces the pitta dosha and it is hladana that is provides the happiness that is as it is very cool it will be providing the happiness or uh, hladana properties uh, given and sthambana already it is seen that it has this sthambana karma that is stoppage of the flow will be done so for in examples uh, in different disease conditions such as chardi atisara rakta pitta etc there the movement of uh, certain things are there like chardi that vomiting atisara that is diarrhea rakta pitta that is bleeding disorders so in such conditions or other uh, than these conditions where bleeding or other uh, flow of certain i things are there in such conditions in order to stop that we can use this shita dravyas so sthambana is one of the action which is being carried out by dravyas which are having shita guna and this shita dravyas or shita guna is indicated in certain conditions such as trishna that is the person who is having more of thirst daha that is burning sensation 
sveda excessive sweating and morcha that is fainting so in all these conditions it is pitta vritti is being seen or the pitta dosha will be having uh, aggravated or excessively dushti had happened and in such conditions to reduce that or to pacify the pitta dosha and all these lakshanas we have to apply the dravyas which are having shita guna or hima guna next is opposite of shita that is ushna guna dravyasya svetane karmani shakti hi ushnaha that uh, enhances the sweating and other secretions is called as svet uh, ushna guna or it contributes the hot nature of the substances that is normally which all things are having the hotness that is considered as ushna guna and akni mahabhuta is the uh, mahabhuta which is predominant example maricha and it is kabhavada hara that is uh, the ushna guna is uh, helping in reducing the kapha and vada dosha and it uh, daha that is produces the burning sensation and pachana that is digest food quickly so these are the other functions of ushna guna dravyas next is snigdha guna dravyasya kledane karmani shakti hi snigdha so it contributes the oily nature of the substance or lubrication is being carried out by the dravyas which are having the snigdha guna it is cause for dampness that is oily nature or lubrication is being more predominant uh, action which is can be seen in the dravyas which are having the snigdha guna and jala is the mahabhuta which is predominant and for example the snigdha uh, dravyas ghrita is an example and this snigdha guna dravyas are having vata hara property that is reduces the vata dosha and shreshma krit it increases the kapha dosha and the functions are mardava krit that is improves the smoothness of the sharira or uh, when we are applying the lubricants or oil then it will be providing the smoothness that is mardavata will be given that is mardava krit vrishya that is it is aphrodisiac and bela varnakara it also improves the strength and complexion that is the function of the dravyas which are having snigdha guna next is ruksha dravyasy shoshane karmani shakti hi ruksha that uh, which contribute to the dryness of the substance is called as ruksha that is opposite of snigdha that is when conditions of excessive snigdhata or excessive oliations or lubrications we have to apply for the dryness so in such conditions to in indicate or to administer the dryness uh, we have to apply the dravyas which are having the ruksha guna prithvi vayu and akni are the mahabhutas which are predominant in the dravyas which are having ruksha guna for example madhu is a dravya which is having ruksha guna and this uh, dravyas which are having ruksha guna will be vata kara that is it increases the uh, vata dosha as vata dosha is also having ruksha guna tatra ruksho lakushita is the uh, are the uh, different properties or gunas of vata as uh, vata is also having the ruksha guna the dravyas which are having the ruksha guna will be increasing the vata dosha and it is shleshma hara that is helps in reducing the kapha dosha and the functions which are being attributed by the dravyas which are having ruksha guna are stambana that is causes arresting moments and khara that is makes the body rough today we have completed a portion of guna and will be moving with the same topic in the upcoming videos for more updates make sure you subscribe the channel and follow the instagram account thank you see you in the next video till then bye